welcome again to another English lesson. I have been here waiting for you. And for that, I'm grateful to uh, welcome to all the students of 12th graders, family and friends who are watching us today. I believe that today's lesson is going to be very interesting for you as it is for me. And with that idea on our minds, I would like you to think in music or maybe dancing. Do you like to dance? Do you like to listen to good music? Well, I'm going to put you now one short video clip and I, I know you will like it. Let's see it.
Very good. I would like you now to share my opinion with the video. I agree that the video is very good. I also think it's a very popular video. I also believe the choreography is very good. I have to say it was very brilliant, the choreography that we, we saw in the video. But I disagree. I think there are better videos than the one we saw. For example, Michael Jackson, the king of pop. He made excellent videos, and their dancing was also amazing. And I also believe that Bruno Mars is a very good dancer. And I think in our generation, he's one of the best. So well, now let's go with focus on the lesson of today. We saw a video of Bruno Mars dancing in the sun. Then we make a complete a chart in which you have to weather decide it was very good a video or it was not. So with that idea in our minds, I believe that we are more than ready to know what is going to be today's topic for the lesson. And today's topic is quite simple as well. It's asking and giving your opinion. If you remember well, in our last lesson, we learned about how to say I agree or disagree, how to explain our agreement or disagreement. Well, now, following the same line, we're going to learn how to give reason in which we justify if we agree or disagree. So we're going to share now our opinion in any thematic. For that, I'm going to put you now another video, also a very introductive and very interesting video as well. And for the video, I would like you to watch and answer these questions, okay? We have three very simple questions that I believe it will be easy for all of you. What are Tony and Joey talking about in the video? Do they share the same opinion? And the last one is, what are the countries mentioned on the video? And a few seconds for you to write it down, okay? What a beautiful day. Did you know Sweden was voted the best place in the world to live? Sweden? I wonder why it was voted the number one place in the world to live. I read that it's really safe and clean. I've never been to Sweden, but in my opinion, Canada seems like the best place to live. What makes you think that? Well, first of all, it's also safe and clean like Sweden. There are lots of parks and nature. Yes, that's true, but it's really cold. Yes, the winter is cold. The summertime is perfect. The price of living in Sweden is also reasonable compared to other countries in Europe. I think Canada is also pretty reasonable. Yes, I agree. I went there last year, and the hotels and restaurants weren't very expensive. Everybody is really friendly and outgoing as well. The food is quite tasty, too. There's a great selection of international foods. I want to move to Canada someday. 
now we're going to check the answer of these questions. Okay, the first question is, what are Tony and Joey talking about on the video? Well, did you listen carefully? Okay, I believe that Joey and Tony, they are talking about the best country to live in. But what an interesting topic, I believe. So the second question is, do they share the same opinion? Well, if I remember well in the video, Tony has a different idea than Joey. So I believe they disagree. So the answer is no, they disagree. They don't share the same opinion. And the last question is, what are the countries mentioned in the video? Very simple, they mentioned only two countries in the video. And those countries that were mentioned were Sweden and Canada. Very good. Now, talking about these countries, Sweden and Canada, I would like you to share you some curiosities about them. For example, in Sweden. Did you know that Sweden is the country that invented the safe belt? I didn't know that. And do you also know that the national animal in Sweden is the moose? This is a very confused point because everybody in the world confused the moose with other countries' national animals, and it is not. I would like you to share you now some opinions of students about these curiosities. For example, Jimmy says, I think that being involved in a car accident is often traumatic and frightening experience. Seat belts protect your brain and spinal cord. Seat belts reduce one risk of suffering injuries or death in an accident. This one is a very interesting opinion from Jimmy, I have to say. And I would like you to know that the word frightening is to be scared. It's when you go through something that could be either shocking or scary. And Roman says that from his viewpoint, the moose, one of the most majestic animals he had ever seen in his life, which is protected. Mm, that's very good. And what about Canada? What curiosities do I bring you about Canada? Well, and his national animal is the beaver. And no, I'm not talking about the singer. So I'm going to show you again some curiosities and some opinions given by students. For example, William says, that in my experience, using an electronic oven is easier because it saves energy and time. It is a very useful invention. That is very good. And we have another opinion. Luis says, I really feel like the beaver is a very strange animal. It looks like an overweight mouth. I don't like it very much. Those that I just show you, there are opinions given by students. So. I would like you to write this down in your notebooks. There are different and different ways for asking opinions. And now I'm going to give you a few. And I advise you to look more so you can increase your vocabulary and grammar aptitude. What do you think about? Do you know what I mean? Do you agree with me? Don't you think? In that one, I put you in parentheses, the word that, because it's optional. You can either say, don't, don't you think that is important? Or you can also say, don't you think marvelous is amazing? Well, that is optional, so it's up to you in the moment you're speaking. Now, I would like you to make this exercise. Now you're going to select the ways that express opinion from the video that we saw. I'm going to put it a second time in the video, and you're going to select the expression that we use on the video to express opinion. I have, I strongly believe, I think, in my opinion, and from my point of view. Okay? I'm going to give you a second to write it down, and then we're going to watch the video for the second time. What a beautiful day. Did you know Sweden was voted the best place in the world to live? Sweden? I wonder why it was voted the number one place in the world to live. I read that it's really safe and clean. I've never been to Sweden, but in my opinion, Canada seems like the best place to live. What makes you think that? Well, first of all, it's also safe and clean like Sweden. There are lots of parks and nature. Yes, that's true, but it's really cold. Yes, the winter is cold, the summertime. 
is perfect. The price of living in Sweden is also reasonable compared to other countries in Europe. I think Canada is also pretty reasonable. Yes, I agree. I went there last year and the hotels and restaurants weren't very expensive. Everybody is really friendly and outgoing as well. The food is quite tasty too. There's a great selection of international foods. I want to move to Canada someday. Well, did you listen to the video this time? Did you pay attention? Well, let's go into answer now the question of this exercise. So, what were the ways expressed in the video to say opinion or to express opinion? Well, the answer would be item B and item C. Very good. The ways they were mentioned was I think, and also they were mentioned in my opinion. I think Joe is the one who says it, right? Very good. So now I would like you to write down this thing in your notebook that I really believe is quite important for all of you. These are different ways in, we, in which we can express giving opinions. We have in my opinion, we already saw this one, in my view, I think that is also well known from my point of view the way I see it it is I strongly believe that and the last one is I really feel that I would like to tell you that in the English language the more common ones that we can use are in my opinion in my view and I think those ones are the most common ones that you can you are going to hear but again, I advise you to learn it all by heart because it would be better for you to increase your vocabulary at the moment of your speaking. In the photo we have, um, let's go to say a camping site, um, a place where we can stay in vacation with friends and family. We can spend a very good time. So you're going to write down, or you're supposed to already wrote your opinion about this. I'm going to give you my example in this one. I think it is the best way to interact with nature. That is very good because when we... Now you have on the board and the screen a book of a very well-known book. So, you're going to do the same. You're going to watch the image again, and then you're going to write down your opinion about the book. I'm going to give you a few seconds so you can, die, you can do it. Well, the image of, that I put you in this item is the book front from the book Romeo and Juliet, one of the most popular romantic novels of all time, written by the British author William Shakespeare, right? So, I wrote that I think that Romeo and Juliet is one of the best romantic stories of all time. Think and watch my sentence again and 
see that the starting phrase that I use is I think. You cannot have to put the same. You can use I believe, I strongly believe, in my expertise, or from my viewpoint, or in my view. You can use whatever you want to start a phrase. I mean, that is a very particular man. I think all of you have seen it maybe once or twice. This time I'm going to write down as well your opinion about the photo, and I'm going to give you a few times, and we can check. What do you think about this item? The man who has in the photography, who is it? Well, that man is Charles Chaplin, one of the greatest comedians of all time, isn't it? I mean, the guy is wild, well known. So let's go into watch the, the power and see what do I wrote about it. In my opinion, Charles Chaplin is the best comedian in the world. Let's watch the image for a minute. That is a very strong image, and then we have some doctors working, some Cuban doctors working or returning from a mission using all of them their mask. So it's quite a very important and strong image. I would like you to write down your opinion about it. Let's do it. That image is powerful, right? And I like it. I have to say, first of all, I would like to say my thanks for all the doctors that have made the best work during this COVID-19 pandemic. So let's go into watch the image again and to see and let's go into see what was my sentence, okay? I wrote that from my viewpoint, Cuban doctors have made a wonderful job fighting the COVID-19 virus. Do you agree with me? I believe so. So with all this in our minds, the, fra the different phrases to ask for opinions, the different ones so we can express our opinion, and the best thing is that we have to remember that we have to give reasons to justify our viewpoints in the matter we're talking about. I think we are more than ready to achieve the homework, okay? To get to the homework. And today's homework is very simple. You're going to write down a little paragraph in which you're going to express your opinion in these three topics that I put you here. The one is the most recent movie you have seen. That could be any movie. The second, the second one is Cuban musicians, the ones you like, of course. And the third one is outdoor activities. You're going to put down, you're going to write down no less than three reasons to support your opinion. No less than three reasons. That's very good. Well, I believe that today's lesson was very enlightening, right? I found it interesting and quite clever as well. I advise you to review this content in your board books if you need it, to review the content you, were le you learned in our previous lesson about agreement and disagreement, and to remember to use this expression to, to give and to ask for opinions. 
I advise you to all of you to stay at home still, to wash your hands the most you can, and to stay safe. I'm going to wait for you here to next lesson. Goodbye.